What's up guys, so we got to stay the night at this cabin in exchange for some photo and video work. This is what we came up with. Head down there, give me a follow. I posted this on Instagram and you guys really wanted to see a tutorial. So I'm gonna take you through the color grading and how I achieve these really nice red and teal tones. Here we have our adjustment layer over top of all of our clips. Here we have the LUT set to 72% and some contrast after that. So this is a cine style S curve. It's just an S curve. There's nothing else to it. It's just been made into a LUT just so it's easy to slide back and forth the intensity so that's all it's doing is adding some contrast you just do your normal s curve if you wanted so here we have the LUT on and off and I'll just show you guys how much of an effect this LUT has and how easy it is to use so on and off and we'll just go through each clip and I'll show you what I did to each one so this shot was a bit overexposed my face got a bit overexposed so I just darken the clip a little, otherwise no color changes, looks good. Um, yeah, that clip, nothing much. Most of my dark clips like this, I just brightened a touch. Just the highlights there, so I kept it nice and dark. When I'm doing this, I like to try to make the blacks fade in with the letter box there. So that's, that's how I judge how dark I want my image, is trying to do that. Uh, this clip here, really nice tones, uh, all that it has is a bit of brightness to it and that's it, and noise reduction because it's not 4k that shot, this shot here has really nice colours, so we just brightened it a bit, uh, looks like no adjustments with the colour wheel and then just denoise, so that, that this shot here has plenty of colours in it. Um, yeah, and that light works pretty well. This shot here, plenty of skin tones, the mid tones a bit for some contrast and overall exposure. So just dropped it down a bit. This clip here came off really, really warm. So if I just turn off the color wheel. So at sunset, especially right on sunset, sometimes your camera gets confused and gets the wrong. Uh, white balance because there's such strong colors. So this one came off really warm and I just dropped the temperature and you get these nice blue tones back. I kind of like the really blue tones anyway. So this one I just dropped the mid tones because I wanted to bring out lots more contrast. I think I overexposed and you can kind of tell I like the, the image is too bright because we have such we have so much color in behind the mountain meaning it was pretty bang on sunset so it would look weird if it was this bright but had that much color in the sky so that's how I knew to drop the mid-tones there color board just darkened it a bit yeah you can just see how we get these really rich orange tones all right this this shot here wasn't shot flat it was shot in a standard profile so I had to take out lots of saturation brought that way down and then drop some saturation, especially out of, this, out of the highlights. Here we have just a good example of like some tungsten lights, how orange and golden they go, and then some blue. And yeah, like pretty much all these shots pretty much have no color adjustments. So I'm really happy with the colors that come out of the LUT. Here we have some really nice skin tones there. Yeah, a bit of sharpening letterbox on there as well. 
few other shots I think that show colors quite well. Um, this one sort of shows those really nice deep blues you can get. So this is just the kitchen. For an, so that's just an adjustment, brightened a bit. Before and after of the LARP, really nice. And cross. The shot I got in Sydney. Yeah, really like those colors. Just like that. Um, could maybe bring out the contrast a bit more and then when you add in contrast those colors will really come out. And you guys can go download flat footage from my website if you like, if you want to have a go. Um, here's just some other shots I got from Sydney that show the colors really well. I thought I'd quickly include them. Okay, LUT on and off. Really nice tones. I'd probably add in some contrast. Looks good though. So in brighter scenarios you'll get these more yellow tones rather than deep reds. So still quite orange but really nice tones for that one. I found this cabin on a website called Hotspot. That it's a website that joins influences and places like this, really nice unique places, joins them together. So I've actually booked like two, three places through this website. So if you guys are, do the same sort of stuff, you want to film for cool places like this, these people just wanted some photos and I thought I'd get some video as well for myself. Booked a few places for my trip to Europe soon so uh, I just got to shoot some video for them and I get to stay there but yeah that's about it for this one guys as i said if you want to play around with some flat footage maybe some of this flat footage go over to my website download them play around follow along in these tutorials get the lot if you like guys comment down below who you guys want to see if you want to see more video stuff i'm honestly i'm a filmmaker at heart rather than a photo editor or photographer i want to put in more videos like this yeah follow me on instagram guys and i'll catch you in the next one